part two of my garage diorama build. So I decided to go with three and a half inches tall height in the on the garage building. And I put construction paper on there and glued it. That was a big mistake because it made a big mess and it kind of like waffled out. So I went ahead and got my um the postcard that I've always been using or the brochure I guess how to say like an advertisement brochure thingy anyway it's pretty thick paper I went and cut it up and floored three pieces together for the bottom floor so there's my floor I wanted to have that you know that glare when I put in the lights so I went and used spray paint for the spray paint I used the black satin Krylon Max coverage. There's what I went with. You know, I just rolled it on the table. Six and a half, eleven and a half, seven and three fourths, three and three fourths, one inch and eight inch. And my loft was a two inch by five. But I went and stretched that, I think, to. I stretched it another half an inch. So it's two and a half by five inches, the loft. I'm gonna. Go ahead and piece this floor in. It has tape on the back, so I'm gonna take those off and piece it in. So what I was saying earlier about the postcard, so you check that out. That's basically just painted postcard. Cheapest thing I could do. So the floor pieced in pretty shiny. Looks good, and I like it. Every little thing is making it look better, so that's what I got so far. Let me put this together, set it all up. Glue it up, set the loft up. So the lights are installed and it has that pretty cool glare that I want it to, to have. Um, I'm gonna work on installing the bottom lights for the bottom of the loft. The diorama is looking good. Test run number one. Works pretty good. So, I hope you enjoyed part two of this video. Stay tuned to see what I'll be doing next. Thank you for watching.